Mr. Owens, as long as we're wait, wait, wait. I just want to rule this out as a possibility. Like, do you believe that the events of Sandy Hook are as they were portrayed in the media? There's only two people that know. The guy in the middle. Because if you watch television and read the paper, like Mark Twain said, you don't read the paper and run you read the paper and miss it. I know it's way well. Yeah. And nonetheless, I'm still, I'd still like to know specifically whether or not you believe, believe any of the other sort of alternative theories related to the San Diego Elementary In other words, it was related to... I'm asking him, sir. Yeah, I'm uh, You know, God up, up above knows it, and the guy that did No, he's trying to say, was there a conspiracy? Was there a conspiracy? Was it a... Are there questions in your mind about whether or not the shooting was manipulated or whether or not that there was some subtext underneath it that would cause the government to overreact and start restricting Second Amendment, Second Amendment rights, that that was the intention behind how it was portrayed. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not aware. I don't know where you're going with this. I'm asking a very, forgive me if I'm not asking this correct, this question as directly as I probably should. Do you believe that the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting was a plot? designed to undermine Second Amendment rights. You do not believe this. All right, no, that's good. That's good. I just wanted to make sure that I understood that. No, I don't understand what you were asking. That's why I was asking. Okay. That's I want to know what the question is before I make an answer. That's all I ask. That's fine. Um, the other thing here is, like, so you served for a while uh, with, as a, at the USO. Yeah, I do volunteer work, yeah. Right. And as I understand it, in 2006, June, July, you were in Afghanistan. That's correct. With the U.S. Army. Um, and then you were asked to leave or to return home. What were the circumstances here? We didn't get this information from Who said he was asked to leave? We didn't get this information from him. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm asking, sir. I'm asking you because I'm just getting paid back here, and I'm a veteran. He I'm was also not, a veteran. Yeah, well, thank you your service here, but he was not asked to leave. You were not asked to leave. I, I, I'm saying. It, you weren't asked to leave early. So, if, when I speak to the USO manager, that's what the USO manager is going to tell me. He volunteered to come home early so another guy from our group, the Atlanta Vietnam Veterans Business Association, we yeah. were all members, and he left so the other guy, Bill Stanley, could go over. So you, that's... That was that's crazy. your position, that you left No, that's my early. position, I'm telling you. I don't know where you're getting that. I don't you know where you're getting that information from. So that Bill Stanley could take your place. <laughs> it has nothing to do with his candidacy. What are you trying to do, dig up dirt or something, sir? I don't really have to dig a whole lot. That's my point. You've actually asked the community to basically Google. And I have, and these are the things that have come up. Oh, I Googled him today, and you know what? It said he was arrested in jail. It wasn't the same Tom Owens. Upon well, I don't think... Upon uh, checking it, it was somebody, Tom Owens, from Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't think that I'm confused when I'm talking about the Tom Owens who went to Afghanistan. What? So, what was your question? He was asked question? to leave or sold to go home? My understanding is that he was asked to leave because what you weren't comfortable that you had trouble dealing with uh, indigenous the indigenous population. That is and not that, true. Okay. That's not true. That is not true. Well, no, and it's why I'm asking the question because if it is untrue, I want to hear you say no. This is completely 
this is completely false. But you can understand why I raised the question. Tell them about the uh, Marine over there that had the problem, personality problems with it. That he wanted to be in charge. Yeah, there was a you know, I don't know where you get your information from, but it doesn't matter, Tom. I mean, there's a, I mean, part of the reason that I this had any credence with me at all is your relationship with the mosque that that's next door to your house. Like you're still involved in an active lawsuit with them. Like you are suing them for harassment, as I understand. They threatened his life, too, sir. But is that Do you have paper? any evidence of that? Because you just claimed that, so well, do you have question, any evidence? One, one quick question. Are you a member of that mosque? No. You're not a Muslim? First things first, it shouldn't well, matter if I'm a Muslim or not. Well, you're As asking it questions. Happens, yeah, I'm no, not. No, well, I'm just asking. That's good. I I'm think. just asking. So yeah. it's important to you to know if the person asking questions is a Muslim or not. No. It's good to know that his campaign manager cares See, about that. See, you're twisting things. Yeah, I want to know I? because everything you're asking is geared to that. So he had a problem with the mosque, mosque next door. Well, yeah, more than a problem, you're suing the mosque. Because they have threatened him and everything else. That has nothing to do with this. As I understand it, that's been sort of how I put this. There's no substantiation for that, and that's what the courts have. Talk to his attorney, he'll tell you that is not true. So you're not in the process of settling that lawsuit to make it go away? They've tried to settle with him by his house, sir, many yeah. times, but he's not leaving his neighborhood. He yeah. was raised there. Yeah. Well, I guess we're good. This is the typical type of holiday. If you want to try to dig up dirt on him, he's done nothing to serve his country his whole life. Of course, you did get ripped twice out of the What? What? So, well, I mean, you were boarded up twice, as I understand. No, no, you, 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 you're, you're a veteran. You understand yeah. good people that have downsides in the military, yeah, and there's nothing the wrong. Ones. I mean, not necessarily. You're, you, you're, you're I mean, I was a soldier for long enough. Well, I, was a, well, I retired with 21 years of service, so. so After honorably. they let you back in. Yeah, what? They just did. What? I mean, they did let you back in. Well, he, he re-enlisted. It had nothing to do yeah. with letting them back in. But as I understand it, you were, like, I mean, it was a reduction in service. Like a board sat no, there, no, decided no. to choose you, you, who was going to go. No, that now tell me I'm wrong. Now tell me I'm wrong. You're like wrong. you did not sit in front of a board uh, for a reduction in force. Nope. So what are the conditions of your of your leaving the service? Honorable. That's honorable. Don't waste your time. It's good to see you again. I've asked you not to call me or talk to me. Please don't uh, talk to me. I'm a news reporter and you're a candidate for public office. I have I a responsibility. Not to call me or talk to me. I have a responsibility so, to ask you Interviews questions. over. You lost your interviews with the way you acted yes. last time. Ms. Rowans, when you were arrested in Forsyth County for stalking, I'm curious about whether or not you apologized to your victim. Write a story and just don't make a scene of everything. I'm doing it. I'm trying to be a very responsible journalist. And part of that involves ensuring I have given him every opportunity to answer the questions that I have for him. And he's been ducking me, so what else can I do? Yeah. yeah, I got it. He's going there and he'd be talking. He's talking. It's a chapter. It was not a story. It was a chapter. I read the book. It was a chapter. Unbelievable. Um, I was just going to run it Friday, but like I'm going through it and I'm like, this is really awful. And I, I really wanted to give him a chance to answer questions. And he's just, he won't do it. And I don't want to harass him, but I don't want him to go, oh, well, that was a pack of lies. When, despite the fact that I've got a bunch of, like, records and stuff that I have tempted to ask him personally to answer the questions that the records raise. I mean, what else can I do? I don't know what to do. I'm just going to stand here and do what I can to ensure that I've been fair. I think that's a good policy. Have you, George, have you ever had a 
stage. Uh, well, actually, I heard, uh, I heard through the grapevine that uh, um, Mr. Rowan's had a fundraiser. Um, uh, I think it was either a fundraiser or something. Like you were, I think you were at a party. No, no, it's not important. Um, yeah, it's, it's not in the story. That's why I'm like. Forgive me. Uh, it's uh, Nancy. Nancy and Haley Wells. Nancy Wells sued you for paternity some time ago. And uh, this you three. is. You three. I'm sorry? You three. Who are you? That's it. What's your name? Never mind. You three. Who is this person? You oh, well, it's my. You well, done. You're done. You You're not going to ask you are uh, invading my yeah. personal space. Put him back up. This borders on assault. Borders, but it ain't. So, Mr. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Owen, there was a, a woman who sued you for paternity in 2009, and I am I'm quite curious about whether or not you would be willing to admit the paternity of... You don't have anything... They settled, I mean, that settled a long time ago. You well, it was dropped, it. and I spoke. I spoke. I spoke to her for a year, uh, about an hour. No, you didn't and she is still you, claiming uh, that this is done. her daughter. It's done. It was done years. And ago. his daughter, actually. It was done. And that ago. he had abandoned her. There's a settlement years ago. You don't know. Well, let me ask you a question. Sure. Have, you quit, have you quit beating your wife yet? See whether you answer yes or no. You're screwed. See the, you later. The difference is that there's a lawsuit. Ah, you The lawsuit is there. There's paperwork. I mean, suddenly it was settled this is, years we ago. We can set that aside you and discuss the, the stalking charge you don't know what in Forsyth. I have the papers right here. You don't know what you're talking I have the, the copy you don't have anything. of the stalking charge and the arrest. You've done and this on his, one candidate and his right conviction. after another. You're just a serial liar. What I am You've is a man it. with his documentation in my hand. You've done this on one candidate right after another. And you, this, is, this is a mugshot, by the way, of of the of the of the Forsyth County arrest. Um, he uh, he was arrested uh, for essentially. Well, let me just read it to you. Let me just read it to you. Um, well, first, I mean, on the above date and time, I met with Thomas Mitchell Owens at Beacon Drive, and concerning an active warrant for his arrest, he was identified and taken into custody. He was then handcuffed, the cuffs double locked, uh, and checked for tightness, and then so on and so forth. But let me get to the meat of what that was actually. About. And he was released. And he was released without, he, without any charges. Uh, no, he without was charged, charge. and he pled no contest, and he, he was, was, released. was, he was uh, released. required to do 30 days of. He was required to do 30 days. I mean, I'm, pick, you have a certified copy of a conviction? Yes, I'm, wait, I'm holding wait. it. Let's see the certification. I am holding it in my hand. Tell you what, though. No, you don't have card. it. You don't have it because you you just I ask you for it. You don't have a certified copy. This is you don't have anything. Well, no, what this is is you've I'm, made it all up. You do this no, on I'm one not candidate not right after another. Up. You're just a gadfly. I don't know who you are. You're just a gadfly. And I don't know why I'm talking to you. You're just a gadfly from Creative Love. You do this on every campaign. Go home, fool. Did you call me a fool? Go home, fool. Who are you? Never mind who I am. Well, then you're cowardly because you won't identify yourself. Go home. Mr. Owens, the mosque offered you $150,000 for your house and you said no. 
Nobody has to sell their house to anybody. Oh, certainly not. You but know, you know the counter offer was five hundred thousand dollars, and when the they said no, you made the statement that you're a veteran. I did. Yeah. And yeah. I am. No, you're not. You're just another valid Muslim. Did you just claim that I'm not a veteran, sir? You're just another valid Muslim. Who are you? You're just another. Oh my goodness! Muslim. You're you're Joe Newton, aren't you? You bet you. My goodness gracious you're me, you're a pain in the ass. Just another Muslim calling truck. I don't even know what to say to you, because Go you home. are. Go home, fool. You're substantially worse than he is. I mean, it's remarkable how terrible a human being you actually are. Good job. Good job. I mean, he's been harassing people, like, at public meetings for years. You're just another uh, violent Muslim. Go home. You don't have a certified I, conviction. You don't have any What this is in my record. hand is my stuff photo, my photocopy. Of, made up off the internet. This is what you I pulled out of the DeKalb you don't County have anything. files. Well, let's see the certification. Let's see the certified copy. This is this is a photocopy no of the certified copy. So this is what not is a cert certified what copy. What is the certification? It's not on there. You don't have anything. You've made it up. Really? We'll see. He's about the biggest anti-immigration, anti-Muslim zealot in probably the county and almost certainly the state. And the two of them have been together harassing public officials and private people for probably six, seven, eight years. There's a lot of paperwork on it. Uh, I've got some of it in my hand right now. Um, he's looking for a certification, and the problem is I photocopy reduced the image. So this is not a certified copy of anything. Well, it's a certified copy of, it's a copy of the certified copy. Doesn't help. It's not gonna satisfy him because he's, you know, has a specific, he's looking for something specific to say I'm a liar about. But I'm glad he talked to me because Mr. Owens refuses. Um, uh, he refuses to discuss the, the 2009 lawsuit where his um, a woman who is claiming to uh, have you know, had his child. Um, they split up apparently when uh, she discovered he was crazy. At least these are her words. Um, he was convicted in st of stalking. Uh, there were th three different restraining orders out on him, including one of a fellow that met me at the door with a gun in his hand because I had mentioned Tom Owen's name. Um, all of this will be in the story I write for Peach Pundit tomorrow morning. Um, I came here because uh, the description of him in its detail and all of its terrible glory um, is so dark that I felt it necessary to make every possible effort to get him to answer the questions. And you see how that turned out. Um, Joe Newton standing in my face, hoping to God that I would bump into him, and then uh, calling me a Muslim. I don't actually happen to be Muslim, not that that matters or that that's a bad thing. Um, they've been doing that dance uh, in Doraville and in public hearings around North Georgia, North DeKalb, for years. Thank you.